Okay, guys, it's HR again. I'm back with the great Edgar Hunt, and oh, I'm uh, carrying on where we left off. We just rescued Wacko, and we're about to get his first power up. So, I should just. There. Jid Rain, what shall we do on this level? The same thing we do on every level, Tinky. Try to take over the world. How are we going to do that this time, Brown? We are going to use my new invention, the Digomatic. No. Oh, I dig the Digomatic brain. Oh, I really dig it, baby. Yeah. Expect more digging jokes later. You have later. no idea how the Digomatic works, do you, Pinky? None whatsoever, brain. We will use the Digomatic to destabilize the Earth's gravitational pull by drilling a hole from here to Kathmandu, thereby causing everyone on the planet to be flung into the lonely depths of space. Gad brain, that's brilliant! Oh, oh wait, but what's stopping us from being flung into space when the Earth's gravy national thingy stops? Pinky, you are such a simpleton. We will duct tape ourselves to a nearby tree. I love being taped to trees! Use the movie I love the how they the recycle the ideas from the episodes. Acme bombs and lava sprites. So anyway, this minigame is basically the old game Boulder Dash. Ow. Well, that didn't go well. You know what? <laughs> I'm just gonna start over. Ah, good. If I die twice on the first screen, that doesn't go well. Or I could just do that. Right. 
go. Ah! I promise this- I PROMISE YOU THIS WILL WORK! Not like that, obviously. So good that promise is. Oh well. So now... Oh. oh wait. Let's take this sh shortcut here. Panicking, 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 bye. Down here, the room of death. Which I can be by using this one here. Like so, like so. Okay, I'm gonna take the bottom room here after all. Ah, uh, this is definitely the wrong way. There. I think 
think I'm getting close now. I recognize the screen. Yeah, I'm definitely getting closer. Ugh. No. Okay, that was weird. Um... <laughs> okay, I think we're almost home. Oh yeah, that's Captain Do right there. <laughs> Bloody heck! Sixteen minutes to finish a friggin' mini game. Anyway, now we've got Wacko's shovel or spade. With the spade, you can do this. And dig up pumpkins. And other power-ups as well. And yes, that's the only thing Wacko says whenever he digs. Thankfully, digging spots aren't that common. Because while it's an amusing quote, and the only one I can think of as well, it gets old. Pick up some more pumpkins. Oh, wait. We need the scuba gear for that. Go here yet. What we can do here is pick up a couple more pumpkins. I can dig it, baby. And there's the E. Letter E is in this little cabin. just about all the pumpkins I can grab at this point. Almost. Got these. Yeah. The writer says there's still some more, but those are in the statues again, like I mentioned in the last video. Now, seeing as Wacko is the only one who actually has a character-specific power-up, we're gonna keep playing us in for a while until we dot school address now this yeah let's 
play this one. It brings us back to the front courtyard. And if we're any good, it wins us the sea. Which, oh, <laughs> once we've got that, will give us an extra apple on the health bar. We need a bunch of points to win the C. Kind of forgot to check, but I think it's 500. And of course, you have to avoid shooting the Warner sibling faces. Or else you lose points. I think I might have enough now, but I'm just gonna keep firing just in case. There we go. 700 should be enough. Pretty sure it is. Yeah, success. Here we go. Now we got the C. So that's one more apple on the health bar. And free healing as well. Ah, oh, we needed 500. So. Okay, um, let me check. The cryptic bone search, 300 pumpkins. Okay, that's all we can do in this level for now, so let's exit. Because we need other power-ups for the next Edgars. Yeah. I think the next stage we're supposed to visit is Once Upon a Time, which is the fairy fantasy kind of land thingy. I can see it, lady. Before we do that, just gonna dig up another movie canister. I think that's all of them. Radar says there's no more in this immediate area. Right there in the corner. Nope. Oh. Okay. Yeah, that's all of them. Now let's exit this. So, next up... Oh, yeah! We're gonna... Go in this... Oh, wait. This building right here, which just opened up. Which gives us our next side mission. This door only opens if you have all three of the Warner siblings, so... Just because the cutscene needs all three of them to play. and read War and Peace in 20 minutes. Hmm. It involves Russia, apparently. Listen, my analyst said I need to confront my problems alone, but I admit it. I'm weak. Will you help me? Let me guess. You've got a deadline and you've run out of paper? No. 
You've got a deadline and you've run out of headspace? That's not it. You see, a production assistant put our latest script to the good feathers on the window ledge, and it flew away. And you want us to find it? There are six pages to find, one in each soundstage. It'd help reduce my stress levels immensely, and I'd be willing to trade you for an Edgar. Ah, more shiny things. Huh. Sounds good. So as you might have seen from the heads up, um, the pause menu, there's one script page to be found in every level, as well as the movie lot. So, gotta love these little paintings here. Little caricatures, characters. This is a nice little piece here. And is that Hello Nurse in casual wear? Well, that's a risk, right? Anyway, Hello Nurse! Hi, a little. Screenshot of Wacko's wish there. Anyway, I digress. Next stage is Once Upon a Time. At least I think that's what it was called. Ah! That's our 125th. Oh, it's right next to here. There's one more Edgar. Yes, I would like to say. We don't need to go here yet, but might as well pick up the canisters while I can. Later. Now then. Here we are. Now the thing about these little movie lot bits is that there's no enemies here yet, but once you've entered the lot at least once, then enemies start appearing in this area here. So while there's no enemies to worry about yet, it's pretty safe to pick up all the movie canisters we can at this point. Now, uh, this little target requires the proton accelerator thing that we got from Bugor earlier. Which opens the way to Once Upon a Time. However, before we do that, here's a digging hole. And this digging hole has the grass skirt that Dot needs in order to limbo. Now that we have this, we can actually hold off on Once Upon a Time for a little bit, because I believe that now that we have the spade and the skirt, we can get um, the last bits of, we can do the last missions in the Old West, but I am now just considering that it might be wise to hold off on that. Because there's also a requirement for the scuba gear, which we get in this level.
Hello, Mr. Fish. Well, as you can see, the collectibles in this level are crowns. And... Hi there. Who are you? I'm Duffy Fish, co-star of the classic aquatic adventure series, The Manta from Atlanta. Oh, we're big fans. I found something down here you guys might find useful. A snorkel that can help you swim underwater for brief periods. Press your attack button when you're in the water, and you'll dive underneath. When you're under the water, press your jump button or your attack button to swim. Thanks, Duff. May I call you Duff? Anything for my fans. Yeah, 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 enough chit-chat. Is there anything else you can tell us about this place? Well, I know that if you swim down through the tunnel under this pond, it brings you out inside the wishing well. From there, you can get to the castle or across the bridge to the land of evil. That's all I know. I've been busy filming with Manny, you see. We have a new feature film coming out this fall. It's called Codfellas, and I'm sorry. <sighs> Codfellas? I get it. It's like good feathers, but with a funny fishy take. You're so clever. See ya. See ya? Like C? The C where you live? Ha! No, I meant goodbye. Oh, that's not funny. Don't forget. No, Swim it's not. down through the tunnel underneath me. So now we got the scuba gear. As you can see, there's three power-ups left to get. The, uh, the night vision goggles, the magnifying glass, and the bombs for Yakko. Now we get all of those in different levels. Actually, the next one. So... Right now. These are treasure chests, which you can only open with Yakko's bombs. But first... Oh. See, I used a couple of crowns up there. Very helpful. Camera underwater isn't exactly stellar. Gurgling singing. Oh, ah, come on. What seems to be the problem, Miss Peep? Well, you see, my sheep are long overdue for a haircut. They've gotten so shaggy, they've become statically charred. Every time I go near them to herd them into the shearing machine, they electrocute me. Excuse me, Bo, but if we help you, won't you get a shock too? Hmm, probably. But I'll make it worth your while. <laughs> it's hard to believe they managed to evolve this far. <laughs> so it's easy to make a android streaming of electric sheep joke here, so I'll spare everyone that. That's the first sheep. Easy enough. I 
Well, what you're supposed to do is just pound your weapon close enough to them so that they scare off and hopefully <clears throat> get herded into the shearing machine. Animal cruelty! Ah! Now there's many more sheep than there are required in order to finish. No, 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 no. There we go. No, 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 no. Over here. One more to go. I think there was one more over here. Yeah. Let's get this one. Come on. Come on, little fella. Over here. Oh, I didn't even need to punch him. There we go. That's the last one. I can talk to Bo. My statically charged sheep are still on the loose. Uh, Please help me round them up. It said five out of five, lady. Don't tell me I have to get them all in there. It's hard to believe that I need more energy. Hello? Why aren't you moving? Is this a glitch? Is this a glitch, lady? Bravo. Ah. You saved my shaggy sheep. Oh, joy. No more static shocks and lights outbreaks. Well, now it's just a matter of our ahem reward. Of course. I nearly forgot. Here you are, you helpful little men. Oh. A golden statue. Ah. 
Anyway, this is getting to be a pretty long vid, so I should probably cut this off. Short bit. Which one of the ones are reached the following area? Which is this checkpoint. Which also has this, this warp door. Just go back to the start. Why you ask? So I can stay in the game. Right. I'll see you next time. Cheers.